Janet, you said uh, you decided in school, I'm, I'm going to make the neutrino famous. Oh, yeah. In Why? fact, I think my neutrinos care about me. You think so? Yeah, I do. <laughs> <laughs> in fact, you know, because there's a, a billion neutrinos in every cubic meter of space. There's more when you're closer to a star like our sun. But if you go the farthest out in space, there will be a billion neutrinos in every cubic meter of space. So if neutrinos are your friends, then you're never lonely. And what, <laughs> what, what first sparked your fascination in this particular part of particle physics? Oh, you know, uh, neutrinos really have great personalities, actually. Uh, they are very, very independent particles, and, and that's what, what really Lawrence was saying. Uh, and so, as a result, uh, they have a tendency to not interact very often. But because they're very quiet particles, uh, if, in fact, they were talking to other forces and other particles that we don't know about, um, you would be able to hear it with them because they're quiet. You know, if you look, listen, if you go to some places very loud, it's very hard to hear a very quiet signal. But since neutrinos are very quiet particles themselves, it's a good place to look for new physics.